Hi, uh, I'm Oded. I work at uh, Wafer's uh, Kubernetes team. I'm a platform engineer. So, uh, you've set up your uh, cool new GitOps repo. Uh, you read all the articles and you saw the sessions and you know that you should probably, like, the best way about it is to set up all your cluster as separate folders in the repo main branch. You set up your Argo instance and it reconciles every change you make in those folders to your cluster. Everything works. And now you want to make a new change. So we start with the lab cluster, you edit the file, it automatically reconciles to the cluster, everything works. Amazing. You're testing a change, it's good, you want to promote it. Okay, no problem. You create a branch, you copy the files, commit the files, open the pull request, maybe it needs to be reviewed, and then you merge it. Amazing. Now the change is promoted to the next dev environment but you probably need to promote it again. You have multiple clusters, multiple environments, multiple sites, so we promote it again. Another branch, another copying of files, make sure you don't miss any file, create, uh, commit them, create pull requests, have them reviewed and merged, but we're still in staging, right? There's more to go, and more, and more, and it's not great. So uh, I, wrote, I wrote a tool to help me with that, and it's called the Telefonisca. So the basic functionality of Telefonisca, it watches over merge pull request that change files in specific folders in your repo, and just opens pull request that syncs those change to new folders. Uh, a PR is merged, a new PR is created by Telefonisca. Uh, it's tool agnostic because it basically manipulates files and pull requests, so it, it, it can work with Argo CD, but it can also, it can also work with uh, Terraform or Flux or any other GitOps repo or tool. Uh, it supports multi-stage promotion and you get control over granularity of the promotion. So let me go over this. Like there's the, the first scenario, the simplest one, from dev to prod, just open you merge something to dev, it opens a pull request for production. Uh, the second example is a multi-stage flow where you, it, uh, you merge something to dev, it opens a pull request to prod. When you merge that, it opens the second pull request. You merge that, it opens the third. It kind of like walks you through the flow. The third example just shows that you can, uh, you can merge multiple folders in one pull request, maybe in dev, where you don't care about blast radius, you can just deploy to all your dev environments at once. And the fourth example is kind of a fan out approach where you just have the tool opens, open multiple pull requests and the user can merge them as he sees fit. You can also mix and match with all of those. You can have like complex flows or simple ones. Because it uses the super familiar uh, pull request user experience, user are familiar with it, you can interact with it using the CLI or the web UI, and Telefonisca also interact with the user with comments and labels, so the whole, uh, uh, the user experience is very familiar, and you can use GitHub's features like code owners and the pull request status checks to further customize your flow depending what your organization need. Uh, Telefonisca also warns the user on drift between environments. Because Telefonisca strives to keep environments in sync, uh, it, it syncs component folders in their entirety. It means it copies all the files in one component in dev to some same component in pod, for example. So if some earlier change was not promoted, the new change will take the old, older change along in the promotion path. So in this case, Telefonisca warns the user, shows him what, what kind of drift exists with like details, and the user can make an informed decision. He can either take the old change along with it, along 
in the promotion flow, or you can manipulate the git state to reach like the desired result. Uh, it, all those uh, behavior is controlled with an in-repo configuration file in the root of the repo. And because you now have a file that describe the promotion flow, people can discover it. Like, I know, new engineer, engineer can use the repo, they can understand how the, that specific team promotes stuff on their infrastructure. You could, if you make a change, you could peer review the flow. The flow is now a part of the infrastructure as code repo, and it can be shared with other teams or other organizations, discussed and discovered, as I said. Uh, I think we, I, I ran through this pretty fast, or so I even have time to go a bit over the configuration. Uh, I'm not going to walk through it step by step. I just mentioned there's a, another feature that I didn't talk about. Uh, there's a few features. It can run in dry run mode. It can auto-approve PR, uh, which is uh, sometimes useful in some cases. Uh, and you can control the behavior using uh, labels. So you can, op you can open a pull request and label it and get another flow. Like in this case, it can open a PR for multiple clusters in production in one, in one PR. So it can like, aggregate a, a few promotions in one PR, which is something desirable for speed. Uh, when you, and you balance it with risk, of course. Uh, that's it, actually. Uh, the project is a very early stage, and it was written by a mediocre software engineer. So I appreciate any feedback on the code, the commentation. Uh, you can reach out to me or like so do it electronically. Uh, this is it. Thank you. Uh, we can probably take one question while the next speaker is setting up, if yeah. you want to unplug here. Uh, one question? No pressure. I've, I've set it up because I said there was one, so you feel like it has to be so good. Here you go. Um, uh, like, I wanted to understand Telefonista is a part of Argo, Argo's initiative. So we, in our environment, we use, uh, it's an open source, right, without license. So if, do I need to do something extra or is it some Helm thing okay, we so, have okay, to okay. install? So yeah. the installation, there's two ways. It, it, you could use it as a GitHub action, okay. which is like the easiest setup, but it's like a bit slow. We internally use it as a, we run an actual web webhook server that actually run on our infrastructure. And it's like the preferred way because everything works fast. And uh, if you put a label or you, you comment something, you get instant uh, feedback. The GitHub action is like it starts a container. It's like it's a slower process, but it's it's a great way to like test the tool to start with it. Because it's the installation, like you need to set up a webhook, you need to call kind of secret, a GitHub application. It's a bit involved. The, the GitHub action uh, way is way easier. And you have a UI as well, right? Like our so city. the UI is Git, GitHub pull request UI, like the, the, whole, the whole interaction with the user is done using P comments on the PR and labels on the PR and there's like, there's no other UI element because- Like we, in Argo City, we have an Argo City UI, right? Yeah, yeah. And we can see everything in a pictorial so here, presentations. So. Like all the information you need is either in the Git or in the, some comment in the pull request. There's okay. no ed, uh, extra UI. Uh, I use the CLI tool a lot. So oh, my yeah, UI, like right. I open pull requests and uh, like view them for the CLI, but. So right from deployment till the pull request, we can uh, use Telefonista, right? I'm sorry? Right from deployment to the pull request creation. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, thank you. All right, give a round of applause, thank you.